Hello, sweet people. I just wanted to remind you of some of the things that you may have forgotten. Um, there are some biblical affirma affirmations. <laughs> it's later at night and I'm trying to talk, so I'm getting a little tongue tied. There are some biblical affirmations that we tend to forget as life hits us square in the eyeballs. Some of those affirmations are as follows. We are loved. We are chosen. We are blessed. We are holy. We are wonderfully made. We are saved. We are not alone. Never alone. We are adopted. We are secure. We are strong. We are without fear. That doesn't mean you're never going to face fear. That means as long as you depend on your Lord and Savior. You don't have fear of stupid little things. Okay? We are sealed. We are citizens of the kingdom. We are heard. We are healed. We are delivered. We are accepted. We are comforted. We are protected. We are forgiven. We are set apart. We are sanctified. There are some people that are listening to this right now that are starting to let this sink in and they are feeling this. You understand what I'm saying to you? People that are addicted, people that have had sin in their life, we've all sinned. So don't make that mistake. We're all sinners. I don't care who you are or how, how long you've been in the church. Every one of us are sinners. Every one of us. But there's certain chains that are going to break. Listen to what your Lord and Savior from the Bible tells us that we are. Let's continue. We are protected. We are forgiven. We are set apart. We are sanctified. We are joyful. We are made new. We are approved. We are redeemed. We are renewed. We are victorious. Victorious. You understand that word? We are seen, we are equipped, we are set free. We are disciplined. That comes with time, people. So remember to forgive yourselves. We are prosperous, we are talented, we are creative, we are confident, we are focused, we are worthy. We are worthy because our Lord and our Savior believed we were enough. We were loved enough and wanted enough that he died on the cross for us. He sent his only son to die on the cross for us and that we would commit today, tomorrow, and yesterday. In the future. Those stupid things that you say that, oh, I wish I would have said it that way. I wish I would be able to take it back. Once it's out there in the air, we know we can't take it back. But Jesus takes care of that. He's already paid that debt. We need to be reminded sometimes that we are worthy. We are not worthy of our own standpoint. We are not worthy because of the things we do. We are worthy because he said we are worthy. Because he loved us enough to not only make us, to not only provide a planet for us, to not only provide brothers and sisters who remind us, and I hope I'm reminding you tonight, but that he said, he said that we are worthy. He's the king. He's the Lord. He's the savior. He's the creator. He's the one and only lover of our souls and of us. We are beautiful. We are wonderful. He loves us above every living thing. Do you understand that? He made a planet for us to live on. And he hoped and wanted us to live in the Garden of Eden. But sin came in. Tonight, I hope that you understand who you are in Jesus. I hope that you remember that you are loved. You are worthy. You are never alone. Um, I guess that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So I will see you again later. Remember, you are worthy. You are loved. God bless.